Uh, this is Shoot Steel from RobinHoodsPlayground.com, and um, we're going to be uh, flashing uh, light on a thousand series today. And uh, before we start, I want to mention that once you download uh, Jungle Flasher, there is a uh, folder included, and it says firmware. You open that folder up, and it says place firmware here. It means exactly that. Go ahead and load up all the firmware uh, that you uh, and the originals and the high streams for whatever uh, drives you plan on uh, flashing. And you just put it in there, that way Jungle Flasher can uh, use that as a resource. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut on my drive, eject my drive, turn the, uh, the power off, a little more than halfway, cut the power back on, then I'm going to go ahead and launch my Jungle Flasher. And uh, <coughs> <coughs> so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to ensure that the drive is uh, indeed uh, found by your computer. It's showing right here, and uh, and we're going to do the LO83 info, and we're going to power the drive on. Well, it's already on, so I press OK. I'm going to move the drive to the full open position, press OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the power off, push the tray half in, cut the power back on, and then I'm going to press OK. I'm going to move the tray to the full open position with the power still on, and press OK. And I'm going to save this uh, somewhere on my computer. And then it says here, light on uh, firmware loaded to the source buffer. Uh, do I want to auto load the uh, IXG? Yes, I do. As you can see, I have a good key. It's already uh, spooked down here to the target. I'll go back to uh, MK flash. And at this point, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to light on a race and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to proceed? And I, yes, I do. I'm going to press yes. Then it's going to ask me once again, do I want to proceed? And yes, I do. Uh, and then right after I press this, I'm going to wait um, for a couple ticks down at the bottom of the, uh, the screen there. Uh, it'll be in this location. Uh, then I'll power it off and power it back on. On and off. And if that was successful and it's found right here, serial flash status, all I have to do now is write. Then I press the outro ATA reset which will uh, put this back uh, in, in a, a mode for we, uh, so my Xbox can uh, see it. Now all I have left to do is cut the power off, push the tray back in, disconnect it from my computer, and it's done. Thank you, everyone, at Robin Hood's Playground, and uh, good flashing.